Hi boys and girls, welcome to Learning with Mrs. Ferrari's YouTube channel where I believe that every boy and girl can learn. My aim is to inspire you to be the best you can. <laughs> Today we'll be looking at a part of the grade 6 PEP ability test. So we're going to look at the categories of quantitative and verbal reasoning. So for quantitative reasoning, the types of questions, problem solving, data analysis, approximation or estimation, comparing quantities, representing quantities, and patterns. Now for verbal reasoning, we have analogy, classification, essential part, sequencing, text completion, reading, artificial language, and logical deductions. Now, the video for today will be focusing on analogy. Now, what is an analogy? Analogies are used to make comparisons and show relationships between words and ideas. An analogy takes this form. So sometimes you'll see the colon where and you are to read it as A is to B as C is to D. And with words, for example, we would have like foot is to person as wheel is to car. So sometimes you'll see it like that and sometimes it will be written out in words. Now we're going to look at what we mean when we say look at the relationships between words. So there are different types of analogies. We have one type is synonym. When you are given an analogy, you can try to identify what type of relationship exists between both words. So if you are given slim is to slender, what is the relationship between slim and slender? So those two words are synonyms. So for example, we would have slim is to slender as difficult is to. So since slim and slender are synonyms, you will have to find a synonym for difficult. So you would say slim is to slender as difficult is to hard. So the pairs are synonyms. Another type of analogy is antonym, words that are opposite in meaning. So for example, you are given exciting is to dull. What is the relationship between the word exciting and the word dull? They are antonyms. So in order to complete this statement, you would have exciting is to dull as enemy. And what is the opposite of enemy? Right, the opposite of enemy is friend. Another type of analogy is part to whole. For example, wing is to airplane. So what is the relationship between wing and airplane? Wing is a part of an airplane. So in order to complete this analogy, we would have wing is to airplane as trunk. So trunk is a part of a, that's correct, tree. So the whole is the tree and the trunk is a part of the tree. So that is how you need to be asking yourselves, what is the relationship between the two words? Another type of analogy is cause and effect. For example, fatigue is to yawning. So when you are fatigued, you're tired, and then you are yawning. So the cause is fatigue, and because you are fatigued, the effect is yawning. So let's try and complete this one. Fatigue is to yawning as sadness is to. So we're looking at the cause when you are sad. What is the effect of being sad? What happens when you are sad? Most people will cry. So we could complete it with, as a matter of fact, it wouldn't be cry because we notice here we have yawning. So we would want to put crying. 
So it depends when you're looking for your answers. Make sure if it has the ing, most times the word, the other word will also end with ing. And that's sometimes. So fatigue is to yawning as sadness is to crying. Another type of analogy is person and related object. So let's look at this one. It says here, baker is to bread. What is the relationship between the baker and the bread? So this object is related to the baker because a baker usually bakes bread, right? And then, so baker is to bread as doctor is to, what object could you use here for the doctor? Yes, for example, it could be stethoscope. So baker is to bread as doctor is to stethoscope. Another type of analogy is item and category. So you'll, you'll, you'll ask yourself, what category? So they give you an item and you are to identify which category it belongs to. So for example, here we have robin is to bird. So what is a robin? What's the relationship? A robin is a type of bird. So let's look at this example here. Let's look back at this one here. Another type of analogy is item and category. So let's look at the example we have here. Robin is the bird. So the robin, what's the relationship between the robin and the bird? Now the robin is a type of bird. So it belongs to the group bird. So once we identify the relationship, then we can move on and try answering the next part of, the, of this analogy. So robin is to bird as pit bull is to. So a pit bull is a type of, that's correct, dog. And lastly, we can have an item. Another type of analogy is when we have the item and the purpose for that item or how is that item used. So we have here ruler is to measure. What's the relationship? The ruler is used to measure. So once we identify the relationship, we can complete the, the analogy here. So ruler is to measure as scale is to so what is a scale used to do? That's correct. A scale is used to weigh. So its ruler is to measure as scale is to weigh. Let's look at some more practice questions. So athlete is to running as jockey is to. So let's look at the two words here, athlete and running. What is the relationship here? So an athlete usually runs and they use the word running. So athlete is to running, it's in the present continuous tense, as jockey is to. So an athlete runs and we use running the present continuous. So therefore a jockey, what would a jockey usually do? Let's see. Athlete is to running as jockey is to. Is it ride? whip, racing, or track? If you said racing, your answer is correct. The next example, whisper is to shout as sleep is to. Again, we want you to look at the relationship between the first two words that we have here. So whisper, and shout. What is the relationship between the words whisper and shout? Yes, those are opposites. So let us see if we can complete this. So what would be the opposite of sleep? Whisper is to shout as sleep is to, and we're looking for the opposite of sleep. Is it awake, bed, tired, Eyes. So let us see if we can complete this. So what would be the opposite of sleep? Whisper is to shout as sleep is to, and we're looking for the opposite of sleep. Is it awake, bed, tired, eyes?
definitely if you've got that it's the opposite of sleep is awake all right so let, let us look at another example entrance is to exit as calm is to so let's look at the keywords again the two words here where we have the analogy here so entrance and exit what is the relationship between entrance and exit yes they are opposite so the opposite of entrance is exit so the opposite of come would be would it be walk arrive stop go definitely the opposite is go and the answer is go awesome brave is to courageous as active is to what is the relationship between brave and courageous yes if you said that they are synonyms you are correct as a person who is brave is courageous so a person who is active is what would be the synonym let's look at the words would it be energetic weak bored feeble synonym for active if you said energetic you got it right i hope you were paying close attention that each time that you have to answer the question ask yourself what is the relationship between the given analogies right and then you would use that answer to help you to answer to find the word for the example given so you can ask your parents to contact me at learning with mrs ferrari at gmail.com or whatsapp me at 876-774-1930 and i'll be able to discuss with them how they can acquire practice questions online for you have yourselves a lovely day and remember the key thing is to practice. So practice your analogies some more, okay guys? Blessings.